Hi guys, this is Dr. Javed and let us simplify the topic of familial adenomatous polyposis that is FAP. Let us simplify. FAP, it starts with F that is you remember the chromosomal translocation as F that is 5, F for 5. So this is due to chromosomal abnormality in the APC gene of beta catenin family. So this leads to aberrations, activation of the APC gene leading to thousands of polyps throughout the bowel. As you know, you can remember this as thousands of polyps in the intestine that dominate. That means this is an autosomal dominant variety. There are various associated syndromes with FAP can be described as Cowden syndrome, Gardner syndrome, Turcot syndrome. So you can remember this in an easy way. Coming to Cowden syndrome, just remember it as 10 cows in a den constitutes a cow den. 10 cows, that means the chromosome number is 10. They are present in a den that forms a Cowden syndrome and the gene is P10 that indicates the number of cows. How to remember Turcot syndrome? As you know, the word Turcot, it's somewhat resembling the turban. The turban is worn on the head. In the same way, the Turcot syndrome is a component of familial adenomatous polyposis. So apart from the polyps, you remember head tumors, most commonly medulloblastomas. Finally, coming to the Gardner syndrome, which is a component of the FAP. You remember the Gardner syndrome in an easy way by just imagining a garden, a garden full of vegetables. This is a funny way of remembering, but I hope so. It will help, definitely help you. So what does a garden constitute of, sir? So imagine a garden with long polyps, that is, they can be remembered like long tubular cucumbers and mandibular osteomas. It can be remembered like some cauliflowers or cabbages and frontal osteoma. So the osteomas can be a multi-layered cabbage like thing and these will help you in remembering the components of Gardner syndrome. Hope so, this topic has simplified in remembering the syndromes associated with FAP. Thank you. Please like, comment and subscribe.